Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. A very simple tutorial today. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to use the baking camera inside of Octane Blender. And this is ideal if you want to bake out a texture map. Uh, maybe you want to upload to Sketchfab or maybe you're using a game engine. Or maybe you want to swap these textures out and use them inside of Eevee. Something like this. Maybe if we're doing pre or whatever. So I have this very, very basic texture setup, nothing fancy, a dirt texture. I've got a little bit of scratching going on using the scratching node. Very basic. So the first thing that we really need to do is set the scene up, get the scene working correctly. So when you're baking a texture, you're always better working in the power of 2, 512, 1080, you know what I mean, 4K, 8K, whatever. So if you go to the output properties, you can set the render resolution. Now, in order to bake an object, you generally need a UV map. So this is why I'm using good old Suzanne here. She's pretty much ready to rock and roll. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to tell the camera, look, don't use a normal camera. Change this to the baking camera. So I'll select the camera. I'll come to the data object properties for this. And you can see here, Octane Camera. And you can change this. There's a few options, but the one we're looking for is obviously baking. And you'll see straight away that the viewport is now showing what we're baking. And this is one of the advantages to using Octane compared to Cycles. You get much quicker real-time feedback. It's much easier to set up as well, if, if I'm being honest. So take a very quick note underneath here, the baking option. You have used it as a baking camera, baking group 1. And you have UV set 1. So you can have different UVs on the assets. You can change this from maybe to two or whatever. I don't have any. I've only got one set of UVs. But the baking group ID one here is probably what you should be paying attention to because this pairs up with the object. So if I go to the Cezanne object and I go to the object data properties and I scroll all the way down here, you can see underneath that the object layer, we have the render layer ID, but we also have the baking ID group. So I can change this to anything that I want. So if I want a different object, I can make that baking group too. Now you can change the position of, <laughs> of where this bakes. Generally, I would leave this alone. Uh, so the reason why you would use this is maybe you want to bake the same texture maybe four times into the one image. Now when I worked in a game studio, we done this for billboards. So basically we baked four different images into the one image. And I'm not talking about UDIMS, I'm just talking about a PNG. And it just saved a lot of RAM, essentially. But this is all we really need to worry about. Make sure the baking group ID is the exact same as a camera ID. Now, if I hit F12, it's only going to give me the diffuse map. Now, keep in mind that what it'll do is it'll evaluate things like the light, the shadows. You can see here we have contact shadows, stuff like this. So this is great if you just want to quickly, quickly bake. But obviously, we have much more options when it comes to Octane. Uh, baking the normals, baking the roughness, stuff like this. I'll show you how to quickly set this up. So what we need to do is we need to go to the view layers properties. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the info panel. And you can see here the normals. I've enabled tangent and that basically gives me the normal map. Uh, one thing underneath is, check this out, info pass max 128 samples. So the samples can be different for anything inside of the info group here. Now we're only really really worried about the normal so we can pretty much ignore anything that, and you can see that we have bump and normal mapping, so that'll include the bump and the normal map. So one thing that we can do here is, underneath we can go to material, and I've ticked all of these boxes, and this is what we're going to bake out. We're going to bake out the opacity, the roughness, the IOR, eh, if you're having glass or something perhaps. The diffuse, now the diffuse is just the colour, or the RGB value, so there'll be no light, or there'll be no specular, anything like this. Reflection, refraction, and transmission. And that's us pretty much ready to rock and roll. But what I do suggest is, I'm using the classic render passes here, is we quickly save a preset. So if we add render preset, and I can call this baking camera. So it means any time that you want to bake something, you can just quickly set the preset and you're ready, just pretty much ready to go. You can use render AOVs. In fact, I probably suggest that you use render AOVs and I can show you how to set that up in another video, but we're ready here. So I'm just going to hit F12. And that's us. I probably should have put the samples down in all honesty. So you can check out the layer passes here. We have the beauty, the normal tangent. Excellent. Now we've got a normal map. Pass it will just be white to be honest. Uh, we have a roughness map. Uh, and this is a diffuse filter. So this is pretty much just the RGB colours. And of course you've got reflection and refraction. Uh, which technically aren't working at the moment. Because I don't have anything reflecting. 
So that is pretty much the basics of baking out an Octane Blender. It's very, very simple and it's very, very quick. But let me just show you one or two more options. So, for example, we can go to the camera and we can bring down the camera options here. And you can see that we have padding. So we can pad this out a little bit. Uh, this is good for hiding UV seams. You have edge noise tolerance. So this essentially means the noise around here. So generally you'll leave this at the same, but if you find that it's noisy, you can play with the values. And this is the UV region, so this is where I was saying you can actually move the position of the UV. So if you make this like 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, you can technically fit in more than one bake to the one image. It's good if you're overlaying or stuff like this. Now use baking position. I think that takes the camera position uh, from where it is. So I'm actually going to select the camera here. I'm just going to go to item and I'm going to move it just to double check. I'll refresh the view. Now, I don't know what the deal with that is, to be honest. Uh, generally, I won't use it in backface killings, usually on anyway. So that's pretty much it. Now, one thing that you need to be aware of, if you go to the Octane properties here, uh, the image viewer will influence this map. And the same with Octane post-processing. So you can see here I've added chromatic abbreviation. So this will actually get baked into the map as well. So just be careful when you're baking that you actually take this into consideration. And that really is the baking camera. Now what if you just want to get a bump map or perhaps a displacement map? Uh, if you select your object, it's to quickly take something like the bump map and just plug it straight into the beetle and bake that out. Uh, just keep it as a diffuse layer. In fact, if we just double check this, let's quickly jump into the render passes and what we can do is we can actually go to the diffuse filter. So... That's pretty much your bump layer. So you can do that, and you can do that with displacement. It's probably not advisable, uh, but it is a kind of cheaty workaround. Let me quickly hook these values back up. Get a bit of the Hulk going on. Yeah, just keep in mind, you can always check out your review pass types. Now, if you're wanting to use AOVs, for example, uh, you can go to Octane Render AOV. You can set up a quick group, and you can quickly start piping in stuff like your info channel, uh, so if you go to info, now you can change the kernel to an info kernel, but we'll just leave it in direct lighting, it's working pretty good, uh, so as you can see here, you have everything, the roughness, the AOVs, you have position, opacity, everything that you really, really need, uh, normal geometric, uh, normal tangent, stuff like this, so you can set up a render AOV group doing it that way, and that really is how to bake inside of Octane Blender, there is a few other videos on YouTube that I recommend you check out as well. Uh, but anyway, you know what to do.